Welcome back to Simple Pure Whole Wellness. In today's video, I'm presenting my Dysautonomia Treatment and Pot Survival Kit with some lifestyle medicine strategies for managing dysautonomia. Dysautonomia management requires a multidisciplinary and multi-pronged approach to address any underlying contributing conditions as well as the modulation of symptoms. Dysautonomia is a group of several medical conditions that cause an abnormality in the function of the autonomic nervous system, which can lead to trouble regulating some or all of the largely automatic functions of the autonomic nervous system. This can result in lightheadedness, fainting, unstable blood pressure, abnormal heart rate, malnutrition, and other debilitating symptoms. Since there are many underlying contributors to these types of conditions, dysautonomia management of the symptoms varies. The presentation can be heterogeneous and often involves several coexisting conditions which must be considered, so the treatment plan must be individualized in conjunction with a knowledgeable healthcare provider. Lifestyle and various pharmacological management strategies are often considered when deciding on a personalized treatment regimen. If dys dysautonomia is secondary to a known primary condition, management is generally aimed at improving the primary condition and managing the symptoms. In the case of secondary dysautonomia, management is usually aimed at symptom relief. Several medications can be used for dysautonomia treatment and the management of POTS, although the effectiveness of a given medication varies based on the type of dysautonomia, comorbid conditions, and other individual factors. Pharmacological treatments often take a three-pronged approach and may include heart rate control with drugs like beta blockers or ivabradine, volume expansion with drugs like desmopressin or fluoronef, increased hydration or IV saline, and peripheral vasoconstrictors like midodrin. Non-pharmacological and lifestyle approaches also play a key role in many cases of dysautonomia. There are several lifestyle adaptations that can help dysautonomia patients reduce and cope with symptoms. Such treatments vary depending on the type of dysautonomia or POTS and may include individualized exercise programs, a high salt diet incorporating real sea salt, compression garments, increased fluid intake, adequate sleep and rest, inclining the head of the bed a few inches to modulate blood volume, and mindfulness and stress management techniques. Overall, there's a few essentials from lifestyle medicine that can help manage dysautonomia in many cases. These are part of my POTS survival kit. Each person has unique physiology and medical issues, so please be sure to consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your diet, hydration, medications, or lifestyle. The first essential in my POTS survival kit is a great water bottle for adequate hydration. Increased fluid and salt intake has proven to be valuable for many who have blood pooling, hypovolemia or low blood volume, or hypotension related to dysautonomia. Maintaining adequate hydration is thought to help raise the level of the stimulatory neurotransmitter norepinephrine to help maintain blood pressure. A fluid intake of approximately 2 liters per day is often recommended, but this must be individualized under the guidance of a healthcare professional. My next essential is sea salt and electrolytes. Sodium and other electrolytes play a major role in maintaining fluid balance and blood volume in the body. There's evidence that salt supplementation may help to decrease orthostatic symptoms in adults. An intake of 3 to 5 grams of sea salt or more for some individuals is typically recommended per day to help those who have hypovolemic symptoms of POTS, although this should be individualized for each person based on many factors. Salt should of course be avoided in those with kidney disease or heart failure and is not appropriate for those with hyperadrenergic POTS. Compression socks and other compression garments are another essential in a POTS survival kit. These can help some POTS patients by lessening peripheral venous pooling and hypotension. In general, the most effective compression hose are around 30 millimeters of mercury for counter pressure and go to at least waist high. 
Another important consideration when it comes to managing dysautonomia is to make sure that one's blood sugar is stable. It's frequently recommended that POTS patients eat several smaller meals throughout the day instead of two or three large ones, since much of your blood is redirected to the digestive tract after eating a large meal. Many also experience fewer symptoms when limiting simple carbohydrates and consuming meals with a balance of protein, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates. This may do be due to the role of insulin, which is released by the body in response to consuming carbohydrates or other sources of glucose. Insulin has other important vascular impacts which can alter blood flow and contribute to vasodilation, especially in the gut. Extremes of temperature, especially heat, often exacerbate POTS and dysautonomia symptoms. Body cooling vests, sun shirts, handheld misters, personal fans, and hats, as well as layers in the case of temperature fluctuation, can help people with dysautonomia maintain a more even temperature. Another important part of a dysautonomia treatment survival kit is medical documentation. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon for some EMTs or ER doctors to lack knowledge of dysautonomia or POTS, so it can be helpful to carry documentation listing that you have POTS or autonomic dysfunction, as well as your current medications, allergies, and emergency contact information. I hope this video is helpful for you as you put together your own POTS survival kit. Let me know in the comments below what you include in your dysautonomia treatment survival kit and check out the information box below for more links to details about the autonomic nervous system, dysautonomia, and how you can use lifestyle medicine to help manage symptoms. I really appreciate your support of Simple Pure Whole Wellness. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more Simple Pure Whole Wellness.